Welcome back to The Grind and welcome to a special video that has been requested by a few viewers where I do a stable showcase or an account tour of all the dragons that I currently own over the past two and a half years that I have been playing this game game and so we're going to start off by looking at the tier that i'm currently in which is the eldritch tier i have now broken into the eldritch tier and these are the two dragons i have caldur and caris or Ceres, however you want to pronounce that my next breed will be glossia and then on to mordred which will be a fun breed the mythic hunter of this tier which will then allow me to move on into the verdant tier after that and the arcanum tier which is the recently released tier we don't even have mythics available for them just yet um so now we're going to scroll all the way back and start from the very beginning um the very first tier where you start off the game and there are a ton of tiers in this game it does make progression quite grueling at times um but with the discounting and more access to rewards you can progress pretty quickly if you pay attention to some of the breeding guides and base building guides that will uh, which you can find on my channel actually will definitely help you progress faster and make the most of your time and resources but the first tier red tier i do have all the dragons i believe um I actually don't know if you have to breed them all. I didn't follow a breeding guide until later on in the tiers because I you know, was still learning the game and didn't know that they existed. So I do have all of them. My favorite, of course, was Ember um, because he could actually do some fun stuff. But Kanara is also a great one. And I still use Kanara in um, you know, Temple Raid and stuff like that. Next is Purple Tier. I did not purchase the one for Rubies. And I'd recommend you don't do that if you're just progressing through these tiers. Um, I don't know if I really had a favorite here. I guess Arboreus was my favorite because he's actually pretty strong uh, once you unlock him. Grog was also, Gog was sorry, it was, and Borg was also okay. Uh, then we go on to the blue tier. And again, I have, it looks like all of them except the two epics at the end, Chunk and Dodo, um, which I don't think you could actually just breed in the past. Uh, very interesting. Now you can actually just go ahead and breed those. So I'm not sure how new that really is, um, but if you do want Chunk and Dodo, you can just go ahead and breed them from the breeding castle, um, which is very cool because, you know, I think they're pretty cool looking dragons, fun to have. You know, not gonna be an amazing dragon to clear content with, but might be a fun one to, you know, obtain. A couple of my favorites here were Bolt and Druid, but Edsel was also pretty fun too with that nice freeze spell. Then we go on to the orange tier. Um, a couple that I haven't bred from here, but this is probably where I started to realize you don't have to breed all of them. A couple of my favorites would have been Hydron, because that was and Nos were a pretty good one, but mainly Amarok. Amarok's the one you want from this tier. Um, very strong dragon, and I still use in Temple Raid situations. I've heard Darga's great, but you gotta spend rubies on that. Uh Durga also I've heard is pretty good. Um, and look, there's a Dodo Pyre, <laughs> another Dodo bird that you can breed from here now. Next is the green tier, and again, you can see I don't have them all. I might have started using Using breeding guides at this point i'm not sure if it was here or gold tier or platinum but around this period is when i really started to want to optimize my spending and progress quickly through the tiers and was a fun one as well as danzig and moonin as well on to gold tier um you can see i did breed most of them from this tier um i think i was definitely using a breeding guide at this point or this was the time where i started using one but my favorites here were whalenar whalenar um your sinew and consurgens. Uh, and then on to platinum. We've got a few decent ones here. Jarga's fun, Nosfer's fun, uh, Quartz is okay, uh, Rizar is a solid one as well, and Kelvin, not too bad either. And then on to Sapphire. Um, it looks like I've got all but one of these ones. Um, my favorite being Hasset, because Hasset is an amazing dragon which can clear. Um, base is way above tier um pretty much infinitely and that's why there's no real not really any other dragons like howaset because um if you give a dragon like howaset a lot more health and power it would be unstoppable and apophet Apop Ap is also a pretty good one as well and mahitan i got to put on my perch and he is still on my perch in fact garnet tier has some cool ones as well icicles fun um achilles and Austeros. I've never actually said that whole name, just A and A. Jewel's also kind of fun as well. Um, but again, you know, most of the tiers are just to breed through so that you can get your divines to that higher level. 
Emerald was a fun tier to break into as well. Uh, Stormheim was pretty fun. Desi was fun. Fergo was fun. Uh, Slax wasn't too bad. And then one of my favorite tiers actually was Obsidian tier. Part of that is because Archimera is just a beautiful dragon. Um, and Noctua was also a very fun and valuable dragon to have. Uh, Lumina also was a pretty cool one. But these, where, the, where I started to feel like the dragon design started to really get pretty cool. Um, then into Harbinger, we have uh, Loken was okay, Estro was okay. None of these really like stood out as amazing, but I thought Morthal was a pretty cool design, and I didn't get Keth or De Death Star. Uh, Vanguard was pretty cool because of Sanguis and Itzani, uh, pretty great dragons, but unfortunately when I bred them, I was breeding through the tiers pretty fast, and I had some very good divine dragons, so I didn't really need these dragons um, because... It takes a lot of effort to get them to max tier, and then they're not really as good as divines anyways. Um, plus, by the time I got them to max tier, I was already into the next tier with my divines. Uh, then on to Empyrean, you can see here, I've got uh, most of them here. I really liked Mordrain. Mordrain was, Mordrain was a really cool-looking dragon, fun to fly on an invader base, just, you know, leveling them up. Um, Lucian was a great one. I actually maxed out Lucian, one of the few that I've actually taken to max from the lineage dragons. And then on to Abyssal, Oculus. Lex, Bilge, uh, Orthopter. I literally just bred that one or incubated that one, actually. Marlis, Dagon, and Medusis. Medusis was kind of fun, actually, but again, because it's lineage, I had better um, divines and there were much less effort to take up. So, you know, and that brings us to the Eldritch tier where we currently are at. Now we're going to go over and look at the divines and let's, um, let's work backwards from this. We'll look at my currently... Um, top tier ones that I have, talk about the ones that I use the most, and some of my favorites, and then we'll do like a, a a little walk into the past and look through all the different tiers that I have dragons in and just touch on them a little bit briefly. So Hauzine, Calivor, Krellos um, are some of my main attack dragons. Uh, Morak is one of my all-time favorites. Well, definitely my all-time favorite. I still use Morak, even though Morak's in Abyssal tier. Um, I can actually still clear max bases with it. Well, max towers. Not all bases with max towers can I clear. Um, but for the most part, Morak's been able to destroy the towers that I've been needing him to destroy. And that's because Morak just has some insane attack potential. And if you fly Morak right, it's just just amazing. So I just love flying Morak. Definitely my favorite dragon that I've ever had. And I hope to be able to squeeze out a couple more tiers of use with Morak. Um, and then I'm still leveling up Icaros. This is this season's mythic. Uh, so that one will be another main attacker as well. Nocturne is one. I haven't been using Nocturne that much, but Nocturne can set up bases quite nicely. So I'm still going to keep using Nocturne, uh, but Nocturne is now at max tier. Super fun dragon to fly. If you want to see some gameplay, I have some on the channel. And then Lockjaw. I just took the rider off of Lockjaw. I haven't really been using Lockjaw very much, uh, but also a fun dragon. But again, my main champ or main um, dragons right now are Icaros, Morak, Krellos, Calivor, and Hauzine. Um, and I'm working on leveling up Nebulon as well. Now, Scorpa is one of my favorites uh, dragons as well. Um, Kind of got overshadowed by Morak and a couple of the other dragons that I now have a max tier. But when Scorpa came out, it was a very underrated dragon. And you can see some of the gameplay on my channel, but Scorpa would just blow up higher tier defended bases. And it was just the burst damage you could get from Scorpa was insane. And so I loved flying Scorpa. Um, like I said, Nebulon, I'm still leveling up. Naja, I... Nasha's is a lot of fun. Very strong dragon invoker, uh, but you know, Morlock just kind of overshadowed Naja. Uh, same class or element as well. So I just left all my gear and rider on Morak because Morak was quicker and better in my opinion, especially because I'd already uh, become very well uh, skilled with Morak. So I never really used Naja, but amazing dragon. Golgrim was a fun one. Namaka, the first invoker, uh, was a very fun dragon as well, but once again, kind of got overshadowed by a few of the other dragons I flew a lot, um, which one of those was Narleth. And so they're currently down in Harbinger tier. Because they got overshadowed by newer dragons, I left them in Harbinger, and I use them for, you know, Temple Raid and stuff like that, but I don't currently have a need to bring them up. 
Now we're the, onto the ones that are left in Obsidian. Ronin was my very first Mythic Dragon. That was a very exciting time, and you can watch my Mythic free-to-play videos um, on my channel. I have a playlist with them, and that has my video of getting Ronin. Uh, very exciting time, amazing dragon, a lot of fun, high skill to, to really get the most out of, uh, but was a lot of fun to learn to fly and make how to use videos with Ronin. Asura, not a terrible dragon, can use, be used to debuff towers so that other dragons will deal tons of damage, uh, but I never really used Asura that much. Kalisid was an amazing dragon as well. One of the better legendary dragons I've ever had, and that's because you can blink pretty much every single shot that would hit you and burst down towers. And there was a point before the they uh, nerfed Kalisid where you could infinitely spam the cloak and the cloak gives you 50% ammo. So you had infinite ammo and infinite cloak. You were untouchable and could destroy bases well above your tier. But of course that had to be changed. So um, we uh, Kalisid was nerfed and still remained an amazing dragon that you could, you know, dance around defenders' shots. You could take out towers with surgical strikes and just burst down towers very quickly. So if you want to see some fun gameplay on that pre and post nerf, you can find that on my channel as well. <clears throat> Narav is a very cool looking uh, invoker, but I never had much use for him. Never really got around to leveling him up. Uh, Hyaku, Dreth and Gunner were some fun ones that I uh, really enjoyed with that um, when they came out. So those were fun. Gunner was a great hunter at the time, and Dreth was a very fun and capable sorcerer as well. Fin Fin, I changed his Fire Fin, I changed it to Fin Fin. Fire Fin was a, a very unique dragon. Um, had some interesting potential to destroy a lot of towers very quickly, but the defense on this dragon was kind of weak. Uh, Ice Flax would take him out pretty quick, um, but definitely a lot of fun. I use him in temp our Temple Raider as well. So I like getting the chance to use <laughs> Fire Fin every once in a while. Um, Haku and Calaveras were pretty solid ones. Calaveras was one of my very first Divine Dragons. And then Rashka. I haven't leveled up, um, but Rashka is a solid dragon as well. Can deal tons of damage. Um, has a cloak that you know is pretty useful um but i never really put much effort into rashka prospero was one of my first hunters maybe my first hunter and because of that also one of my favorite hunters he had the potential to hit up as well at lower tiers of course um struggles from what i've heard at higher tiers but i have him left in platinum tier again for temple raid stuff like that um but prospero was a lot of fun you could burst down towers on the corner with the ammo then you could cloak and then you could use a kind of stun spell that dealt damage to all towers on an island if you got rid of the red mage and it would stun them so you would have time to deal more damage to them with your ammo um, and then hildur was a fun dragon as well um at gold tier i have left for again temple raid hueso is one of the the first festive that used shards um i probably won't be leveling up hueso because you know not a lot of value from hueso for me uh, noel is an awesome green dragon that we got a couple christmases ago as a free gift for logging in every day it's a very strong dragon as far as green tier goes, so it makes Temple Raid in the green tier and stuff like that a lot easier. Um, a lot of fun to fly, Noel. Uh, it's unfortunate that it's not available at higher tiers, but it's understandable. Um, and then here's all the dragons that I do not currently own. There are a ton, and we're not going to you know, focus on a lot of those. There are some that I would love to have owned, but unfortunately, you just can't have them all, and a lot of them were prior to my time. Um, some of them you know, started at very low tiers, which is interesting because now they started orange tier. Some of the divines started way lower. But anyways, that's pretty much it for uh, my account tour of the dragons that I own. I'm excited to get Icaros maxed out as well as Nebulon leveled up, uh, but I do need some more shards for Nebulon before I can get there. But once again, my all-time favorite dragon was Morak, and um, maybe next to that, the most valuable dragon that I can see in my roster is Krellos because of the speed that you unlock. Uh, but there's a lot of very fun dragons in the game, and they seem to be getting more and more interesting as time goes. Um, and so, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your all-time favorite dragons have been, what your current top and favorite dragon is. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.